Good morning. January 21st, we finally got a little bit of snow, so we're going to try to go out today. We got one day, it's a Saturday, so we got one day of, uh, of hunting tomorrow, Sunday. Of course, we don't hunt here in Maine on Sunday. And then uh, Monday, we got a mess coming in, so we're going to try to get this one day in and maybe make a little video for you. We got uh, a couple of the pups here. We got Ranger over here, and then on the other side, we got uh, Angie. Let's see what she's doing over here. There's, there's Angie girl, she's ready to go. They're nice and warm in that box right now. It's about 10 degrees. We got about four inches of snow, so we're off to meet Rick uh, over at the bridge here, and uh, we'll get on with it from there, so we'll catch back up with you later. All right, load. Good girl. Get in the back here, Ranger. Go on. Back. Back, back, back. Good girl. This your leash? Yep. All right. Lock and load. Now we want to go the Beep. throat. Any way you want to go, First, sir. First, call it right now. Don't matter. Go oh. either way. This way. Huh? Go the way we usually go. Okay. Not like the old days. Now you got so much equipment to drag around with you. You constantly checking to see if you lost it or not. Yeah, I know. Batteries, GPSs, telemetry. What's that? Battery. Yeah. We'll turn the collars right on. We got a cat right here, buddy. Yeah. What's it? Yeah. We got one. He went up the road. No, he didn't. Not he went across big. the road. Huh? He went across the road. He, he didn't cross the road. He crossed the oh, road. Oh, he did. Okay, then this is something else. Coyote. All right. Let's wipe it out. Keep looking for a big one. Where'd he cross? Right there in front of you. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's good enough. Put your name on it. That's not. Nah, I think we better run it. All right, let's check the other road up here. He's probably crossed that. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this place is going to be full of people. Just That's why we want to check the other roads so, yeah, so we don't do, get on it ahead do, of us. We, we can do all that, but we're going to have a lot of traffic here this morning. As soon as it breaks daylight, you're going to have all kinds of people in here. We'll check the other road. Yeah. To the right. Let's get on What's it. that? That's something you put there? Yeah. Mark the spot, right? Yeah. Yeah. That that's all good stuff, but people don't honor that name stuff anymore. Yeah, they ain't gonna follow that out there and see if that's a cat. I'll tell you that. Why don't you let Ringo out the shit on the leash? She get some dog tracks around here. Oh, all right. Huh? All right. Yeah. Where we stopped now anyway. That'll give me a chance to collar up. Girl. Damn. 
Now I can make sure I get signals. I got signals. Ready to see him. Ready up. Yeah, I'll get out. She's gone. Let the other two go, I guess. Unhook Ranger. I will. Okay. Jesus Christ, huh? The old dogs hit track? No. They didn't find it yet? I guess they're chasing the puppies. Yeah, that's the problem. Can't believe they're not opening. Me neither. They're on it though. They're probably shitting and stuff. All right. About 100 yards already. It didn't take as long to find the track. <laughs> Not long at all. First fucking track we checked, buddy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Huh? Pretty close. We've never had a track this early. Walk right on that shit. We've never had a track this early. I don't think so. Yeah, we got about two inches here. I don't know what's going on, though. Huh? Why they're not opening. I don't either. Ringo could smell it. 200 yards out. 200 yards out and they're not opening. I know. They're just chasing each other. No. Huh? Not that far. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, they're on it, Sam. All right. All four of them are all together. Not a real big cat, but hey, let them stretch their legs on this one, then we'll get a bigger one. Okay. Right. 600 yards, they're flying. Now they got good, good, they got good going for sure. They're right on the brook now. Mm -hmm. That's what they like to do. They're hooking to the left a little bit, Sam. To the left? Yep. Yeah. Now let's take a look. Ooh, there went on them now that we got it. Yeah, a little bit. We can go down the road. Road's right here. This is, this, this is cat hunting perfect conditions right now. We got today, we're going to utilize them. They did a little, they did a little jig look together. They're together and they're moving. <laughs> Puppy is great for the puppies. That's what we do, folks. We uh, turn them loose. And after we cut them loose, we go find them. <laughs> That's cat hunting. 
Man, they screamed out of there. Mm -hmm. They were out 200 yards before they let the first bark out of them in Rangers, an open trailer. And that track's not old either. No. That track made during the night. Okay, it looks like they're all treed next to that brook right now. So, and they're out about uh, six or seven hundred yards, yeah. Seven tenths of a mile right now. We'll go back the other way. We'll be closer to them. We'll be able to take a right. Yeah. Now, just because it's showing treed, don't mean they're treed. They could be caught on the ground, baying, baying the cat, or you know, something's happening. That's for sure. Once the race slowed down after it went that fast, good indication that they probably caught him. And, and as fast as they were traveling in as good a conditions as we got, they probably did, and the, and the dogs are fast. They probably did catch him, yeah. Yeah. Coyote, get the coyote. Wiley Coyote, yeah, we're seven tenths of a mile away. This ain't gonna help us. Sorry, what do we got here? Squirrel. Nothing. Squirrel. All right. About the first track we looked into was a cat, huh? Right? Yep. We like that. They're getting up in some higher country. I don't like that. We don't want to end up in the cage. No, they're all together. You know better than that. Those puppies are loving this. Yeah. That's all I care about. Yeah. They're loving it. They're getting they're getting sent, and we got them going on it. And they're hanging in. They're hanging there, you know. You know they're not going to quit. They shouldn't. Well, Ollie won't quit. I mean, Angie won't quit. No, I don't they think do. they're not going to quit. They'll be on the block. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Be on the block for sure. They don't keep quitters. Uh, no. Yeah. They won't quit. They got right off my screen, though. Look at this. We're going to get close enough to hear them, Sam. Nice. Maybe. Good checking. Ah. <laughs> Don't get any better checking than this. If you see anything you want to look at, let me know. Coyote been around here. What was that? I don't know. That looked good. I know we're running a cat. We got to look at this. Ah, uh, mink. Huh? Mink yeah. or a weasel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Look nice and round. Okay, we're almost coming right to where they crossed right now. I got where they crossed. Yeah. Right, right on this GPS. Just uh, hang on. Take your right on it. Right where the big one came out a couple of years ago, Sam. Yeah. All right. Boy, they've gone way across. Right around here someplace. Pretty close. Right on the flat up here. Cat's walking. Oh, yeah. He jumped. Nope, that's, there's a pair of cats in. Yeah. That's a different cat. Yeah. The other one's a little bigger. Might be Mama. Well, they might jump Mama in there. They ain't saying much right now. Well, they're way out though. How many? Five. Forty. To the left. Let's go up here and take a left. That should put us on them, right? All right. Let me look. They're headed down toward the stream right now. We may want to get right out of here and go down to the stream on the other fucking beep oh, road. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Are they I going think to? We might want to. It's not jumped yet. All right, well, the cat's not jumped yet. We crossed another road, and we've, they've been on him now for, oh, I don't know, half an hour or so. They've, they've crossed the second road. Uh, we just found his track, and it's not, uh, it's not jumped. And 20 yards or so in front of that track, there was a bigger track, which could have indicated that there was a male looking out after that female. And it's getting close to February now. So, just rabbits. Well, so, getting close to February now, so those males are, are looking for love. And uh, of course, we're looking for them. So, that's what's going on. Now, since they're still cold trailing the smaller cat, and those tracks are going in the same direction, 20 yards apart, 
it is possible that they'll jump that bigger cat before they jump the smaller one. We won't know that until uh, we have further investigation here. But the good news is it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. We're on a track. The puppies are with the older dogs. And it's 10 degrees, or maybe it's a little warmer than that now. But uh, it's cold, but it's, it's beautiful. And they get a bluebird sky, not a, not a, not a, uh, not a cloud in the sky. And uh, it's just a great day to be uh, out cat hunting. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Going this way, that, might be our cat. It's the second cat. Yeah, but which way is he going? Huh? Here, then up there, and in. Come on, Sam. Get in. That cat could have be could have gone that way. And then this way. This don't look fresh as the one they're on. No, no. I mean, this is the bigger one. Yes, that's what this he This could be another cat. There's at least two cats. We know that. What's going to be hard is to put on the second one. It's going to be hard to get ahead of them. It's going to be hard to get ahead of them right now. Hopefully, hopefully nobody's already on it. We want to go all the way to the stream, don't we? Go past it. Yeah. Second brook. Second brook, yeah. That's where they... But it's frozen. That's good. Pretty much. So what that cat will do, he'll travel down this brook and try to make it down into those flats behind me. We can't hear them yet, but they're still about eight tenths of a mile away. The plan now is just wait and see what happens. We may drive down the road a bit, see if he's crossed this road. If he hasn't, there's a good chance that we'll uh, get a chance to see him. Rick, any tracks? Huh? Tracks? No tracks. No tracks. Across the road down. Cat yeah. just changed, did a 90. Yeah. Cat just did a 90. Yeah. yeah. He's in trouble. They're still going to cross the road down here, though. They're more down here than up here. You watch the range on them. You watch the range on them so I get opposite of them. Mm -hmm. Six tenths of a mile now. Yeah, gonna start closing. He's jumped. Took him about an hour to jump. 720, keep going, Sam. Yeah. Showing tree. I don't wanna hear none of that shit. <laughs> Showing tree. <laughs> what do you got? About as close we're gonna get right here. It's okay. The perfect spot. 750. <sighs> Man, might be able to hear them from here now. And now they've gone 200 yards since we've stopped. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So they're making headway. Yeah. So this might be, I think. Wait a minute. Have we been here? No, there's the brook. Yeah. Oh, and that's beep. Okay, so what's the next one up right here? There's that's no it. next one. That's where that shit is. That's where that never dropped back down. We were rabbit hunting in that's there. That's where we're probably going to end up. That's where we're going to end up, down in the pines. We're in barely manageable conditions right here. And uh, we're going downhill into a brook area, into a, into a boggy area. Dogs are about uh, 900 yards out. Kind of, sort of heading this way, we're and stay right here for yeah, we got a steep hill ahead of us, so we're going to see if we can make it up that hill without chains. If not, we'll have to back down and put the chains on. But right now, the dogs are in a piece of woods that's uh, manageable, but they're right between two roads, so we have to see what direction that they're going to take 
before we go any further. That's what's going on right now. Okay, the dogs are about uh, 900 yards out, maybe a little less, heading towards us. Angie's barking hard right now, Randy's bar uh, Ringo, they're all barking hard. So I'm assuming that they got this cat jumped on this brook and uh, we'll see what happens from this point on. They got 80 barks a minute now on Ranger, so things, the good things are happening right now. We'll keep you posted. Right now, I got Kimasabi here is all loaded up and ready to do something. Right now, it's just a matter of uh, letting those dogs get a little more exercise and keeping us out of trouble today. It's going to rain tonight, and that'll shut us down for a while. Keep you posted. All right, they're a little over uh, six tenths of a mile right in there, just to the right of the sun. So Rick gets done uh, filling his belly up with the sandwich meat there, and we're going to head in and see if we can find him. They're in a circle now. By the time we get in there, it's going to be caught or trees or something's going on. Or it's not a big cat, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're going in now. All right, there they go. 0.6 miles to the dogs. I'm gonna stake out here at the truck. They have a radio. I have a radio. I can see them on the GPS, and I can see the dogs on the GPS. I thought I did. All right, so they are about 300 feet from the truck. The dogs uh, are headed kind of in an opposite direction now, or headed that way. So we're probably gonna drive down this road and see if we can cut them off. Um, the cat popped out of the circle that it was making, so we're just gonna bob and weave until we, uh, we get this cat treed. Went over the mountain. They're gone. They're gone. Dog gone. Dog. We gotta cut them off. So we get as close to the dogs as we can and I am left behind because they are headed up into some rough terrain. I try setting up my camera several times but the wind keeps blowing it down. So I'm just gonna wait here in the warm truck and uh, hopefully they are up there capturing some good footage and we will see what they have when they come back. Hopefully they have all the dogs and a cat. Well, stay tuned. Good girl, Angie. Good girl. Good boy, Ranger. Good boy. Good boy, Ranger. Good boy. I know. I know. Good girl, Angie. Good girl. Oh, good boy, Ringo. Good girl, Angie. Good girl. Hey, good job, Rick. You fit it around, right, boy. Yeah, he's putting a heart on him. Putting a heart on him. Silver colored. Yeah, get over there with him, right? Uh, no, we had Ranger today, too. Yeah. Look at the teeth on this one, see? This motherfucker's got some teeth on him, J Rod. Yes, sir. Older cat. Yeah. Nice big teeth on him, man. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they screwed him down 50 yard circles and uh, 
Angie and uh, Ringo come out first, and then uh, right behind them we had uh, uh, Ranger and uh, Ollie. Did a nice job. Another nice big Tom. Out for a little exercise today, and that's what happens. Okay. There's Angie right there, a little 10 month old walker pup, bred by the barbers, and uh, Colin Barber and family, and she was the run of the litter, and now she's uh, quickly heading to the leader of this pack with uh, two nice kills this week, and uh, nice, she's had three so far, so she's gaining. She's gonna be on uh, Havadis for a while because we got, uh, we got some bad weather coming in later this afternoon and tonight. But if you'll turn right around and take a look at the, well, the stuff we had to drive into to get here, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll find a, we'll be able to get out of here. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Hang on to it. We're going to go with you. No, I'll just take the other thing here. Get a food of powder. I'm going to go over I'll drop off a bag of dog food here tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a wonderful day spent out in the Maine woods with my father, his friend Ricky, and their dogs. Uh, again, ended with a great Tom. I do apologize for staying in the truck and not heading out to the tree to capture some more footage, but I think my years in Florida have made me weak. It was cold, my friends. It was cold.